Ah, uh, Skyblock. Such a relaxing game. Nothing to worry about, you can just enjoy life on your island with whatever mobs happen to be there. Except Jerry, he's useless. You can farm crops, build a house, fish for loot, not a care in the world. So much freedom, so much tranquility. It's so peaceful, right? Wrong! There's no freedom in Skyblock, and that's because the gods have shackled the players down with item and stat requirements. So we have to grind skills instead of having fun, and that's not right. So I decided I'll just kill the Skyblock gods and fix everything. Killing god is a little ambitious, but I think I can do it. Maybe? There are, or were, five gods in Skyblock. Jythar, the Dragon Emperor, the Precursors, the Inferno Demon Lord, the Voidgloom Seraph, and Kaiman, King of the Withers. Jythar was killed by Kaiman, and the Precursors just left, so I don't have to deal with them. I have a video about it if you're interested. So, the only targets left are these three, and I'm gonna take out the Inferno Demon Lord first. How do I know the Inferno Demon Lord is a god? Well, think about it. His name is Demon Lord. The Lord of Demons? Satan? The admins literally added Satan to Skyblock and nobody noticed! So, my first goal is to kill Satan and remove Sin from Skyblock. All the Hubwood guys pretending to be e-girls? Gone. Dungeon Sweats? Gone. Auction Flippers? Gone. But how do I fight Satan? Well, the only thing stronger than a god is money, and I'm incredibly rich, so it shouldn't be that hard. All I have to do is buy some Infernal Crimson, and it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, there's none on the auction. Maybe it's not auctionable. Let me check. Soulbound? What? I can't just buy my way to victory? I actually have to manually grind? What kind of game makes it so you have to put in effort instead of just throwing money at all your problems? Whatever, man. I'll just go play Clash Royale. Fuck! Okay, I'm back. So, to get Infernal Crimson, I have to grind the Infernal Tier of Kudra to get Kudra Teeth. But I only get 3 teeth per boss and I need 480 of them, which is really annoying because Kudra is just an oversized squid. And I want to kill God, not squids. On top of that, I also have to manually grind for keys to unlock the chests you get at the end of Kudra runs. Because to buy the keys, you need nether stars, which are also soulbound. The easiest way to do that is to kill flares with the Gauntlet of Contagion, because they count as 3 kills instead of 1, which means you're more likely to spawn a Vanquisher, which is the mob that drops 3 nether stars on every kill. After grinding those, I just need a metric ton of enchanted red sand. So, how much is that on the bazaar? Uh, I need 480 teeth, divided by 3 per fight, that's 160 keys, times 120 sand per key, that's 19,800 sand, and that costs 170 million, what the fu- Okay guys, short side quest, I'm gonna go grind red sand for no reason at all, so let's quickly go to the burning death. <laughs> Lord, why is it so hot here? <sighs> yeah, right, it's a desert in the middle of an island full of lava. I guess that does add up. I've been out here for an hour. I've got to have a pretty good amount of sand, right? Oh, okay, maybe it's 170 million coins for a reason. Okay, I've just bought 19,000 enchanted red sand from the Bazaar Agent. Not the Bazaar NPC, the Bazaar Agent. Nobody uses my man the Bazaar Agent. He's underappreciated. Anyways, now that I have all the materials, I can buy the 160 keys I need. So let's go do the 3 million per key? Why? Okay, I guess Kudra's gonna make me go broke before I can even play it. How do I get a quick 400 million? Alright guys, I just bought all the Kudra keys I need. Don't ask me where I got 480 million because I cannot legally disclose that information. Now that I have all the keys though, I can actually play Kudra. The only problem is that to play, you need a party of four. And the party finder mechanic for Kudra is filled with some of the most idiotic people in the entire game. You get random dudes thinking they can do Kudra with their wither bow and iron armor with growth 3. At some point, you just have to wonder if someone is trolling or if they genuinely need help. What chain of events had to transpire for you to end up in Infernal Kudra Party Fighter without one piece of adequate gear? How did you get here? Did you click the wrong button or something? Do you need help? Do you know where you are? I decided to ditch trying to find a party and instead started my own, and after a bit got into a Kudra run. I already have a video detailing my experience doing this, but I'll recap the important parts here. Once I get into a fight, a random woman with very raggedy clothing tells me to do some stuff. Not sure if I should trust her or not, to be honest. She looks like she's either homeless, a crackhead, or both. Anyways, after a few seconds, she fishes up Kudra. Somehow. I don't really know how she pulled it up without falling in, considering it's a massive squid capable of killing demigods. You know what? Maybe I should listen to her. After Kudra shows up, we start fishing because for some reason Elle put all of her supplies on a flimsy bridge that gets instantly destroyed. What do we need the supplies for? Well, Elle tells us that we need to build a ballista to shoot Kudra because regular weapons don't work, but that's just not true. We literally do not need this thing. The entire boss can be skipped by shooting Kudra with a terminator and some spider poison, but for some reason we have to waste half the boss fight building a ballista just to not use it. Maybe Elle is a crackhead after all. I'll still do what she says though, because if she can pull a lava kraken out of a pool of searing lava, then god knows what she can do anything. 
So after building her useless ballista, we send the most disposable teammate into Kruger's stomach, and they punch his balls and make him confused, and that's when we attack. After doing enough damage, Kruger sinks back into the lava, breaks a massive hole in the middle of the island, and drags us into a room filled with lava, where we have to deal the final 300 million damage to kill him. Elle decides to be useless a little more and hides at the top instead of helping, but it's not hard anyway, so it's fine I guess. Anyways, I then had to do that 160 more times, which was an absolute blast, but after that I had some minorly improved armor. Now that I have this, I'm almost ready to rip and tear, but I still need the Death Ripper and Pyro Chaos Dagger, as they're the best swords for the fight and the only type that can break through the boss's Hellion Shield. They used to cost multiple billion coins, but after the annual attempt at balance changes, the admins dropped the price to just 300 million coins for both of them. Again, I have a whole video about this if you want to watch it. I also decided to buy the new Lucky Die, a Sentinel Warden Helmet skin, and an Ancient Golden Dragon skin so I can turn myself green. Nothing strikes fear to the heart of the devil, quite like the color green. Now that I have all my gear, I can finally go and try to fight the boss, so I went and killed a bunch of blazes to get the demon lord to spawn in. Turn these stones into bread. What? Huh? You've been fasting for 40 days, haven't you? Well, yeah, I guess, but that's because there's literally no hunger in the game. You've not drank anything either, have you? Yeah, but that's because I literally can't. There's no thirst bar. Oh, um, mm. then throw yourself off this cliff. Who is written that he will command his angels not to allow harm to come to you. I literally have Feather Falling 10. I take like 200 damage tops, and there's no cliff. What are you talking about? Barrett, then if you bow down to me, I'll make, make you rich. I'm already rich. Why would I need to do that? Oh, well, that sucks. That was everything I had. Seriously? Yeah, so far only you and Jesus Christ have passed all three of my trials that quick. Oh, well, can you die now then? Yeah, sure, why not? That was surprisingly easy. Let's go check if it worked. Ah, not a single person pretending to be an e-girl. Perfect. I could stop here, but this is Skyblock of course, so I had to kill the boss another thousand times to get levels, and stopped at level 8 because it's called Demon Eater and that sounds cool. I could have gotten level 9, but look at this. Gabagool King? What kind of goofy ass title is that? It sounds so dumb that I instantly quit Blaze Slayer after finding out about it. Alright, now that Satan is out of the way, we just need to kill the demigod Voiglum Seraph and the King of the Withers. Now, technically, the Wither King isn't referred to as a god specifically, but the Voiglum Seraph is referred to as a demigod and also the left-hand man of the Wither King. And the only thing more powerful than a demigod is a god, so I'm just gonna assume that the Wither King is a god. Anyways, with that technicality out of the way, it's time to kill the Voiglum Seraph. Fun fact, a uh, Seraph is a six-winged angel that flies around the throne of God. And the boss, it's, uh, it's... Yeah, it's, it's not that. I already have all the gear to do the boss from like two years ago, so I guess I can just go kill her real quick. Ugh, well, that was boring. Yeah, I don't know why this boss is so hyped up as being strong. It's literally easier than the Inferno Demon Lord. I think the only people who complain about this boss being hard are people in Shadow Assassin with 3 magical power and a sharpness 3 aspect of the end, because with proper gear, this thing is literally doable by a caveman. I'm so confident in this that I built a time machine, went back in time, kidnapped a caveman, and taught him how to do the boss, and he grinded my account so much that he ended up killing the boss 4,600 times. This boss is so useless that you can literally pay someone 3 million coins to do it for you. This thing needs to have its title revoked. It's more like a minor challenge than a demigod. Now that the underlings are out of the way though, I can finally move on to the real challenge. Non-disclosure agreements. Look, I really, really want to tell you how I got that 400 million, but I am legally incapable of doing that. I promise by the end of the video I'll explain myself, I just need to figure out how. Anyways, I still need to kill God, but right now I can't. Well, I can, but the only class I've ever played in dungeons is tank, which means I'm not actually killing anything, I'm just standing around helping the people who are. If I want to kill God, I need to be the one dealing the damage, not just standing around helping, which means I need to play the mage class. Slight issue though, mage is notorious for being low health and egregiously expensive. I'm pretty rich, but not that rich. So I just have to quickly mortgage my house, sell my firstborn, yeah. my clothes, my birthright, wait, never mind, my younger brother stole that, sell my car, my dog, my left kidney, and there we go. Now I have about 8 billion to spend, and almost half of that is for one item. To be completely honest, you don't need that much to play mage, but if you don't have literally every possible piece of gear, every single person in dungeons will call you You're racial slurs, so I don't have much of a choice. The most important piece of gear is a Chimera 5 Dark Claymore. 
which is essentially the best weapon in the game, but also costs roughly one left kidney and half the cost of a firstborn son. The Dark Claymore is just a good weapon, and Chimera 5 is an enchantment that copies the stats of your pet onto your weapon, but costs 2 billion coins. The other massive cost of the weapon are all of the tier 7 enchantments I have to put on it, which are the highest level enchantments in Skyblock and are incredibly rare and expensive. Again, I don't actually need half of them, but if I don't get them I'll be clowned on so hard I might have a heart attack and die, which would be a problem. So after sacrificing my morals, principles, and second board sun, I bought a fully maxed out Dark Claymore with Chimera 5, and now just need some armor and equipment. Armor isn't hard to get, but I need two different sets, one for clearing mobs and one for using the Mage Beam ability. Both sets combined still cost less than my Dark Claymore. I only had to sell one of my ogres to get them instead of multiple. The first set focuses on ability damage and intelligence to maximize spell damage, and the second set focuses on regular combat stats to maximize the damage of the Mage Beam. Both sets are pretty easy to get, but I'm no simpleton. I'm among the distinguished class of Skyblock players, and decided to get some overpriced cosmetics for my second set, because I can't survive losing another kidney to get the first one cosmetics as well. So, now that I have Daft Punk and Grape ready to go into dungeons, I now just have to cave into peer pressure and buy a bunch of overpriced equipment. Why am I being pressured into buying equipment? Because, and I kid you not, it increases my damage by 0.1%. The equipment itself is great, but the upgrades I need to put on it for the minimal damage increase are the really expensive parts. After buying all of that, I was completely broke, but didn't need to buy anything else, which is good because I don't think I can survive that, and I don't have anything left to sell. I am literally playing on the street right now. Besides that, I'm ready to go, so I dragged four idiots into a dungeon and we all started the run with me as the mage. Technically, I could do the run on solo mode, but I don't want to. I have a video on how the fight works already, so I'll just break it down really quick. First, we fight a bunch of zombies, then my team finds some secret chests while I kill more zombies, then we fight Maxor, Storm, and Goldor, who are the Wither King's apprentices. Then we fight Necron, who might be a demigod because he's listed as higher ranking than the Voidgloom Seraph, but he's not specifically referred to as a demigod like the Voidgloom is, so I really don't know. After killing him, we get to go into the Wither King's lair, where I can finally fight 5 Dragon Sea Summits. We don't really fight the Wither King, to be honest. He kinda just sits there and lets his dragons do all the work, and if we kill the dragons, he dies because he binds his soul to the dragons like an idiot. So, uh, yeah, the hardest boss in the game is actually not that hard, it's just hard to get there. And there, all the gods are dead. Now that I've killed every supreme being in the game, I'm officially the best player. Uh, assuming you ignore the fact that some people have done it better than me, but you know, we'll just ignore that part because I really like being egotistical. Anyways, now I can finally tell you how I got the 400 million coins for Kudra keys, and the secret is, I was the hub one eager.